Hey darlings, it's Robin here. Thanks guys for joining me for your daily tarot card reading. This is for Friday, August 19th, and I'm using the Crystal Visions tarot card deck. Okay, so I hope you guys really enjoy this reading. It's for the collective. I'm just reading the general energy, so hopefully something resonates for you. <clears throat> I'm just going to launch right in. Some days I have really good banter, and other days I don't. So hopefully it'll find me sooner rather than later, and we had a card come out. We have the Nine of Wands, okay? So um, the first words I'm getting from my guides are, this could have been a really rough week. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if that applies to you. Okay, so my guides are continuing to talk. They're saying that a lot of things that happened to you um, they just might have seemed like it was like a waste of time or you have no idea what the purpose was. Uh, but you'll probably see some sort of a payoff later on in the month. Okay. So you have to remember that results are cumul cumulatives in some circumstances and not always immediate. So there could be some repercussions, like good ones coming to you early next week or definitely by the end of August. Um, <clears throat> I think I need a sip of water. Hold on, guys. Anyway, so the Nine of Wands is about like really looking back and, and seeing the events for what they were. Try not to get too emotional about them. You can see the Nine Wands are straight up and down. They're not chaotic. So just give yourself a really big, huge pat on the back and know that you did the best that you could in the circumstances, okay? And things were not for nothing. They were for your future self. And your future self is giving you a great big pat on the back and saying thank you because whatever you went through this week is going to really help you out a little bit later in August. So let's have another card here. Okay, so actually what was happening is some string of events or some encounter with the Ace of Wands, it's getting your brain going, okay? Because you could be thinking, well, what was that all about? That didn't serve me any purpose at all. That was a huge waste of time. But something will be born from that experience, like some really great idea with the Ace of Wands, okay? So this is sort of illuminating your path with the Nine of Wands in ways that you just don't understand in the current moment. So the Ace of Wands is a really, really good energy. Uh, my guides are saying just to clarify that out quickly. So let me go ahead and do that. You've got the Nine of Swords. So first of all, let's have a look at these two Nines. Very peaceful energy. Um, the Nine of Swords is like being able to sleep no matter what else is going on around you. So there could be an event that was maybe a little bit unsettling or whatever, but it's eventually going to bring you peace of mind and bring a little bit more self-soothing ability into a world full of chaos. So <clears throat> angel number 99, nine, I want you guys to write that down or take note of it and check it out after the reading because that's a really good sign. So I clarified the ace of wands with the nine of swords. So there's something going on here that you were able to achieve some sort of next level in your soul adventure. Um, and be able to shut off the chaos, okay, with the Nine of Swords. Again, you'll notice this is a really, really easy energy. Nine of Swords is generally super chaotic. Somebody really sweating it out, not being able to sleep. But the Nine of Swords, she's laying down and she's she's fine, okay? She's able to shut things off. Maybe the ability to shut your brain off is going to happen for you. Um, you know, just really be at peace, okay, and allow the universe to start to speak through you uh, instead of combating it and, and getting mixed messages like you might have previously. So let's pull one more card here for you guys. You've got the seven of wands, okay? So you've definitely learned something on an internal level that you just might not recognize. Like the next time you might have a conflict with somebody, you could react differently. Um, seven of wands is being able to push away negative energy and just really stand strong. So whatever felt like it was not productive this week that made you say, oh my God, <clears throat> I'm just wrung out after that. The sense of calm should o overcome you and just be able to interpret messages from the universe on a really different level, like a new calmness in you, like almost like a surrendering to the flow. So this is actually 
going to be a really, really good turnaround, but I wouldn't expect it to happen overnight, but things are looking really, really good for you guys going into a Friday. Really take it easy on, to, on yourself um, and give yourself space to heal if you did have some sort of an argument with some somebody or maybe you had a little ding on your vehicle or things didn't go that great at work, that's fine. Just shake it off and keep on going. You're gonna be good, okay? So I'm gonna wrap it up and I'll see you guys back here next time, okay? Take care, bye.